Which of these tool batteries have better sales? We'll find out in just a moment. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. We've got six popular tool brand batteries in front of us. All of them in the 18 to 24 volt range and all of them 5 amp hour with the exception of one which is a 6 amp hour. What differs inside of them? Let's actually break them open and see then we'll come back and wrap it up. Okay so here's what we have in front of us. We've got six of the more popular tool brand batteries. I know there's several brands that aren't here but I just wanted to show the different cells in these different batteries to see what the differences are between them and just the cells alone. All of these are 5 amp hour batteries with the exception of the Rigid which is a 6 amp hour octane and we'll see if the guts of this is different from the rest of these here. So I'm going to quickly take these apart. By the way, I think all of these uh, use a T10 um, screw. Uh, some of them require a security some of them require a security bit which just means that in the center of it it has a little peg in the Makita's situation it does not so let's get all these apart first Okay, we've got the caps off of all of them. As I mentioned, all of these are 5 amp hour batteries with the exception of the 6 amp hour octane rigid battery here. Uh, so you see the caps are off all these. As I mentioned, they're all T10 fasteners as far as what it took to take them loose. Um, some of them had the pin in the middle, which is a security uh, Torx or uh, I think a T10H. Um, there's different names for it, but basically it's a security Torx. It has a little pin in the middle, so your bit needs to have the hole in the center of it. Anyway, so we've got these batteries apart. Let's take a look on the inside and see what type of cells we get. Let's first take a look at the rigid here. And by the way, you really don't want to be taking apart uh, fully charged cells here. They can be very dangerous. This is the brand new Flex. So this is the 24 volt and this is their 5 amp hour. And you'll see here in the flux, a couple of pads come out of the bottom here. This, I believe, is part of their cooling technology that sits in there and insulates that um, from the actual battery box. This is the snap-on, 18 volt. And by the way, all of these are 18 volt with the exception of the DeWalt is a 20, 20 volt and the flex is considered a 24 volt. Milwaukee 5 amp hour M18. The DeWalt 20 volt 5 amp hour and the Makita. and the Makita 18 volt. So here's the thing. When we start digging into these cells, here's the rigid, rigid 18 volt. And if you look at some of the uh, writing on these cells, it says SE US 18650 VTC6. 
So that tells me right away this is an 18650 cell. Now what does 18650 even mean? Well, that's a great question. Well, that really means nothing more than the width of that pack which is 18.35 millimeters across and the length of this pack. Now I'm going to be very careful here to not touch the positive and negative here. So when you're looking at 18650, it's basically 65 millimeters long and 18 millimeters across. And that's where the 18650 comes from. So when you hear 21700, same thing it means 21 millimeters across or diameter and it means 70 millimeters long. So in the case of an 18650, again, it's 18 millimeters wide or 18 millimeters across diameter, and it's 65 millimeters long. So these are 18650 cells. Uh, by the way, the maker of these would be, uh, I believe, Mirada, uh, but it, which is a Sony company. So originally Sony, but now I think they call them Sony Mirada. Um, so that's these packs here are the Sony 18650s. Now these are 3000 amp or 3000 milliamp hour cells individually and a constant discharge rate of 15 amps. So these can basically output 15 amps continuously output as well as 3000 milliamp hour per cell. That's kind of the uh, fuel cell size, if you will. So again, 18650 pack. So looking at the brand new, this is the new flex 24 volt. And if we look on the bottom here, we see it says INR 18650 and then right under it says Samsung. So these are Samsung battery packs. These are not Sony. They're still 18650, so the same size. These are only 2500 milliamp hour, but discharge rate is 20 amps. So where before discharge rate on the rigid was 15 amps, this will output 20 amps and again, uh, 2500 milliamp hour cells. And as you can see here quickly, you'll, you'll notice a characteristic. So the rigid is an 18 volt and you'll see we have one, two, three, four, five cells across. That's because these are 3.6 volts each or when they're max charged, they're 4.2 volts. Uh, so let's just call it four volts, right? So five times one, two, three, four, five times four volts would be a 20 volt pack. That's where DeWalt gets away with calling it a 20 volt max. Same number of cells, but they're just measuring it at peak voltage, if you will, versus nominal voltage, which is going to be 18 volts. So the 18 volt packs you see are basically a 2P um, so these are a 2P pack. So basically you've got uh, parallel cells in series as well. And that's five of those. So two five packs or, or 10 cells. Now, when we look at the 24 volt from flex, we have an extra cell that gives us that 24 volts. So we're six across. And again, we're looking at the Samsung 18650 cells, but that's what gives us our 24 volts. So again, uh, you're looking at Four volts times six is 24 volts at max charge. That's what you're going to read. Now moving on to the snap-on. So what does the snap-on have? Very expensive tool, very expensive um, uh, battery cells it, when you're buying these tools as well. Same thing with the snap-on. You get the Samsung INR18650-25R. So 20 amp discharge continually as well as 2500 milliamp hour battery. So same thing that was in the flex is what you get in a snap on as well. Moving on to the M18 five amp hour from Milwaukee. Again, we have five cells across that gives us our 18 volts. And when you look into here, uh, if I peel the layer back here, you'd be able to see it. It's the same uh, INR 18650 cells that are Samsung the dash 25R, so 20 amp continuous discharge and the 2500 milliamp hour cell size or, uh, or fuel size, if you will. Then moving on to the DeWalt. With the DeWalt, something common as well, the same INR 18650 cells. So you get the same Samsung cells, the dash 25Rs, which again, you're gonna get a 
20 amp discharge rate, continual discharge rate, and 2500 milliamp hour uh, size, if you will. But again, 18650 cells. So we've seen the same thing across here so far, except for the rigid, which had the, uh, the Sony cells and only a 15 amp discharge rate, but they were 3000 milliamp hour. So bigger fuel tank size, if you will, but not as powerful. And then coming down here to the Makita, Again, an 18 volt tool, so we're gonna see those five cells across. And again, same thing, we see the INR 18650-25R, so the same Samsung cells as the rest of them, excluding the rigid has, and uh, giving that 2500 milliamp hour cell size, as well as a 20 amp continual discharge rate. Now, everything else is software and chipsets and uh, circuit boards and how it talks to the tools and so forth. But as far as across the gamut on these five amp hour batteries, again, excluding the rigid here, which was a six amp hour, uh, all of these are Samsung 18650 cells. Uh, now the 18650s have been around for many, many years, but they still do very well. Now there's some other batteries in, in these different uh, tool companies lineups where they use the 21700 cells. Uh, Milwaukee's got their uh, their high output series, which use the 21700 cells. Uh, DeWalt uses them in their, in their flex volt batteries. Um, Makita, I believe, is still using across the board the 18650s. We may see the 21700 soon, but as far as for right now, in all of their 18 volt stuff, it's just the 18650s. But again, nothing wrong with those. But pretty interesting that when you pull these apart, these are all 2P pack, you know, 5 amp hour 18650 cells building each one of these tool batteries. Again, the exception will be uh, the rigid here, which is, using the, which is using the Sony cells, and then the flex here, which is basically using two more cells for their 24 volt lineup. So you're getting two more cells in that battery pack. Rather than 10 cells, you've got 12 there to make up uh, the 24 volt design there. So obviously the interesting thing is that all of these were 18650 cells. So if you know anything about battery technology and you hear the words 18650 or you hear the term 18650 or numeral 18650 and then 21700 and even Panasonic calls it a 2170, uh, those, as you know now, are just the size of the battery. Now, here's the cool thing about these cells. Not only are they used in about every tool battery now, the 18650s and the 21700s, but also when you see a Tesla going down the road, the exact same 18650 cells are powering that Tesla as well. With the exception, I believe the Model 3 and the Model Y are, have jumped up to the 21700 or the 2170. Uh, and also, most or all of those batteries are made by Panasonic. But again, an 18650 cell powers the S and the X, and a 21700 cell powers the 3, and I believe the Y as well. But anyway, so... The same batteries that are powering your tools are also battering a lot of, are, are also powering a lot of the electric cars out there. Now, why didn't any of these have 21700 cells? Well, quite frankly, they just don't need it. I mean, they're, they're all five amp hour batteries, again, the exception being the rigid, uh, which is a six amp hour, and they all do quite well performance wise as well as runtime wise. So why fix it if it ain't broke? Now, yes, can you pull more performance out of a 21700? Yes, and that's the point. You can go to a high output battery. I believe Milwaukee calls it a high output. You know, again, DeWalt has a flex fold. Makita doesn't have an answer to that yet. Um, Snap-on, I believe Snap-on is you, you get what you get. Um, but, and then in the rigid case, even the Octane did not have the 21700 cells, but rigid does have some 21700 cell batteries. But my point is, you can step up the 21700, but you don't have to. And it's interesting to see that with all of these being 18650 cells, that it's obvious that there's some difference in how the tool communicates and how it operates, that some are more powerful than others and some have longer run times than others, even when they're using the identical cell. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Just wanted to show you kind of an, an eye opening of these six different tool brands, but yet, how similar they really are when it comes to the actual parts that are putting them together. Hey, we will extend uh, this battery outlook, if you will. We'll start looking at some different batteries and 
and different cells and how these batteries operate and what are some of the different things that each one of these tool companies use to differentiate themselves from the others. Hey, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you don't mind, would you give us that like and subscribe on this video or hit the thumbs up if you like the video and the subscribe button by all means if you haven't subscribed already. But if you didn't like our video, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.